my channel in this week's video I am going to go over some of the brand new books that are on our bookshelf with everything that has gone on this year through my triplet pregnancy through being on bed rest through surviving a pandemic we have had to purchase some new books for our bookshelf with the closure of libraries particularly which was a bit of our lifesaver insofar as rejuvenating the books that we had in our house and making sure that story time wasn't too repetitive with the closure of the libraries meant that we had a bit of a stagnant situation with our books and so I have purchased quite a few books over the last few months what with one thing and another so I thought I would do a video showing you all of our recent purchases because I know how hard it is sometimes to find really good quality books and I do find the bookshops the kind of generic chains of bookshops really only stock such a small sample of books and there is so much great children's literature out there that I want to uh, let you know all about it. For me I follow loads of children's book Instagram accounts and that's where I get most of my inspiration from. I also follow publishers on Instagram of children's books and they will uh, you know show all their new publications and that's a great way to find out new books for your children but just like I said I have four children a three-year-old and triplet boys who are 12 weeks old so they're not technically into this stage just yet but my three-year-old devours books so I will run you through 10 of our newest books on our bookshelf up first is a real classic of a story and this is the giant jam sandwich this book was around when i was a kid i think it was first published in the 70s i want to say 1972 so this is in no way a new book but it has not lost any of its appeal essentially this is a book about a town that has a wasp problem and they meet and they discuss how on earth they're going to get rid of these wasps and they decide they're going to create a giant jam sandwich and trap the wasps in it. So it is a rhyming book with beautiful illustrations and the story just progresses through how the town create the bread and make the jam and basically create the situation where they encourage the wasps to come and land on the jam sandwich and then they drop the top slice of bread. That sounds a bit morbid but it's actually quite a, kind of a, a light-hearted story and the rhyming is really good quality with lots of wonderful rich language. Up next is a new release and this was one that I found on one of the Instagram pages that I follow. This is called The Magical Yet and I will link all of these books in the description box below if you want to get your hands on any. This is like I say newly released and this is essentially about the magic of the word yet. So this follows this little boy who gets a new bike and struggles to ride it which is why I bought it. This is actually a book I bought for Oscar's birthday because he's just received his first pedal bike after having a balance bike for a year and it talks about how even if you can't do something straight away it's not that you can't ever do it it's just that you can't do it yet and that it will come and you'll be able to achieve these things so it's a really positive message to send to your children and really lovely illustrations and message the language is rhyming so that always helps with a children's book and it makes it flow really nicely and it's really a lovely read and it just talks about different things that you might experience in your lifetime that don't just click and you can just do it straight away and that you need to take a step back and realize that you just can't do it yet. Up next is a gifted book to Oscar so um, Becoming a Big Brother has meant that Oscar got quite a few presents from uh, friends and relatives which was really lovely and this was a book that a friend gave to Oscar for Becoming a Big Brother. They know him incredibly well and this is the Osborne 1000 Things That Go if you have a child at home who has a vehicle obsession like my son Oscar does this is honestly the book for you this is just a full-on book about all different vehicles the contents page kind of gives you an idea that there's going to be a page on pretty much anything you can think of from in the city to racing to sailboats to on the farm to rockets to space to trucks big ships, historic ships, planes in the sky, diggers, excavators, there's like a page for each one and it names every single <laughs> vehicle you can possibly think of. So if you are like me and your child says, what's that one called? And you've got no idea. This is like the encyclopedia of vehicles. 
Up next, I believe this is another newly released book and this one is called Miles of Smiles. And it is a lovely story about how your smile can be transformed and passed on to other people or animals. Uh, and that smile can be passed on creating such joy in people's lives just by having a smile at somebody. The inside cover has like the map of how the story progresses. Essentially, a baby smiles at her mother and the mother feels joy from the baby smiling so she's happy then she smiles to somebody else and that makes them happy and they smile and the smile gets passed on on around the town it's a really lovely story and a really lovely message about how you know you don't need to give things constantly to people it's not about materialistic things to make people happy but just by having a smile and passing on and being kind and lovely towards people really brightens their day the next book, again, I think is a new release and it is one of my favourite books on our bookshelf at the moment. This is a book that I gave to Oscar for his birthday. I always like to get a book for his birthday and for it to be kind of a meaningful book. This is kind of one of those books that you can give to somebody who, because it's called I'll Love You and it's I'll Love You to the Cows Come Home, if you've ever heard that phrase. Um, it's a really nice book to kind of gift to somebody because of that message. So. This is following on from that well-known kind of phrase, I love you till the cows come home. Um, and it's a rhyming book and talking about all the different things that you'll continue to love them through. I love you till the, I can't think what the other ones are. I love you till the cows come home. I love you till the yaks come back. I love you till the sheep set sail. I love you till the wolves return from a bumpy ride across rocks and ferns. The pigs all shouting with concern, I love you till the wolves return. It's just a really lovely book, incredible illustrations and a lovely message. So definitely one to purchase if you have somebody to gift to. The next book has been in storage for a while. This was a book that Oscar got from his uh, godmother, I think last year. And it was just not used at the time it was out and Oscar had no interest in it and this is the uh, National Geographic Kids Little Kids First Big Book of Space. He was probably a bit young when he first got it or maybe he just had no interest in space at that time but due to a few things that have happened more recently he has started to gain an interest in space and so I got it down again to try him to see if he'd like it and he is really loving this book at the moment. It's really simple lots of big pictures and plain text it's obviously a non-fiction text but it is um, manageable for a three-year-old to kind of flick through and have a look at the pictures. Next up is a book that I didn't even know existed and it's because it's by Julia Donaldson who famously is the Gruffalo, the Stickman, um, Tabby McTat, Tiddler, she, you know all of those kind of books but when I saw this um, I was like oh Julia Donaldson because it's not the same uh, illustrator it's not Axel Scheffler who illustrates all of those books this is Rebecca Cobb the illustrator so it's really different illustrations for Julia Donaldson and kind of a different text as well definitely her style lots of rhyme it's called the everywhere bear and it's based on if you've ever had a child in a class where they have a bear that goes home with each child every weekend and they have to write like a little story about what happened or take a picture and kind of bring it back to the class and kind of do a show and tell it's essentially that so this little bear lives in class one, he gets misplaced and goes on a little adventure and then eventually finds his way back to the class. Sorry, spoiler alert. Uh, but it's a really lovely book. If you're into Montessori and you really want books that focus on real life, this would be one for you. There's, um, I don't think there's any talking animals. There's a seagull in there, but I don't think he talks. I don't think there's anybody talking other than humans. So if that's something that, um, you would like then this would be the book for you and like I say if you are a fan of Julia Donaldson's books you'll really like this one as well and we're up to the top row now so this one is up next you're all my favorites this was a book that I bought um, in preparation for having the triplets and I looked at loads of books about introducing siblings and this one came up and I just thought it was so cute. So it's called You're All My Favourites and it had like three bears. So with my three triplets, I thought this was perfect. And this is a book all about um, making the bears understand that no matter the, the, the fact that they're different, that 
they're all loved and they're all favorites there's no one buddy who's loved one bear that's loved more than the other bears and next up is a book that we actually got out of the library when the libraries were open and oscar loved it so much that i thought i would purchase it because it is a really lovely story and this is um part of a set so from the creators of the lion inside so there's a few kind of books i don't know if they're like a, necessarily a series but they're similar in style this is the story of kevin the koala who likes to live up his tree he doesn't really like to come down to the ground and deal with all the busyness that's going on down there he likes his peaceful environment up in his tree until one day when his tree falls down and he's forced to kind of join in with the the crowd down below so it kind of follows his story about how he doesn't think he can um keep up with everybody down on the ground and then when it actually happens he realizes that when you try something new and do like step out of the box and feel a bit uncomfortable it actually can be really fun so again it's a really lovely message um, told through a series of Australian animals and next up is this book again this one is one that was gifted this one was actually gifted um, by a friend who also the friend who also gifted this one to Oscar she gifted this one to the triplets again this is one that we have had out of the library but we didn't have a copy ourselves and this is actually um like a special edition it's so beautiful with the like um sparkles and the cover actually creates a big poster of the solar system so this really appealed to oscar actually with his kind of space obsession at the moment this is called here we are and it's by oliver jeffers if you know him he has um loads of children's books and this is another great book to gift because it's all about uh, it's kind of like talking to a child about how they're here on earth and kind of giving them a, like a rundown of what um what earth is like and it's just really well written it kind of talks to the child as if they're almost like alien like they've just arrived and they need to learn about you know the earth is made up of land and sea and there's cold bits and hot bits and you'll get to know you know more about it as you grow older and you'll learn to think about things and talk about things and if you're not if there's not something you understand there's always somebody to talk to on earth because there's loads of different people and there's loads of different animals and it's just a really lovely story about our world and kind of gives you a bit of hope for the future especially particularly in the times that we're in at the moment kind of you need that you need <laughs> some uplifting words from oliver jeffers and like i say it's a great book to gift to a new child particularly this is a new release and this is called julian is a mermaid this is a really lovely story very few words uh but lots of great illustrations to talk about uh this is a story about a little boy who meets some ladies on the tube and in his mind his creative imagination he sees them as mermaids these like kind of goddess kind of women and he talks to his nana who is with about how did she see these mermaids and then he gets home to his nana's house and dresses up like a mermaid it's all about acceptance and um celebrating diversity and you can be whoever you want to be so this is a story about a little boy who becomes a mermaid um and so kind of flipping the script on what you would normally think of as, as a mermaid story so it's a really lovely story and one that has come highly acclaimed because of the themes that it deals with about acceptance gender roles and things like that and finally <laughs> Uh, is this book which is uh, Quentin Blake you might recognize the kind of illustrations as being typically Quentin Blake who uh, tends to illustrate all of the Roald Dahl stories so if your child is too kind of old for too young for Roald Dahl stories but you love the illustrations Quentin Blake has a couple of books this one is Mr Magnolia he's like an eccentric man and he's only got one boot and it's a real kind of like rhyming really simple nippy rhyme um, book about Mr Magnolia only having one boot and his kind of crazy life and then eventually at the end of the book he gets a new boot. <laughs> so that is the end of this week's video. I really hope that's given you some inspiration for some new books on your bookshelf. Like I said I will link them all in the description box below along with all the other books that we own are all linked in my Amazon storefront so if these books didn't take your fancy they're all down there all the books that we have ever read and recommend so definitely there's a nice selection of things you can go and have a look at thanks for watching and i will see you again soon bye